war is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child, every civilization, on every world. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. Deep breaths. You're gonna want to take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Scott, Recon Specialist, Pathfinder Mission Team. Pathfinder Team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean? Summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Scott Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something? Word came down, the Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say, but something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Taparo. What's this about my implant? A routine check. 
After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we packed more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. What's happening? He broke free! Just hang on! This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <clears throat> Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. Scott. Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Helm control, report! We're drifting! Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the Green Zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right. Just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. 
I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. Don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. Switching to manual guidance. Charlotte 2, taking your lead. Good luck, Pathfinder team. This all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. Look, port side! That has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? 
We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Increasing. No kidding! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Sam! This is Ryder. Come in. Hyperion, Sam, anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. Did we really do that? Or are we dead and don't know it? Well, we found hell. I can tell you that much. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Thanks. What the hell is that? It's not a hotel, that's for sure. Nothing around here makes any sense. New galaxy, new ways to die. Just not today. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait. Look. Oh, shit. Okay. It's over. Fisher, you okay? Uh, so much for making peace with the locals. The first aliens we meet and we try to kill each other, that wasn't the plan. Then we need a new one. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <sighs> we still don't even know if they want it. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we'd even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. <laughs> Assholes kill Kirkland. I hear you, but this isn't the time to lose our cool. Now I feel better. What about the others? Fisher's wounded, but sitting tight. Greer's with him. There are shuttles in pieces. Guys. She's been hit! Take cover! Take cover!
I didn't know you were biotic. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... <clears throat> I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Scott. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Sir! Stay low. idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop with the cloud. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. We're banking on science we don't really understand. What if the theory's wrong? The alternative is an 85% chance of death from lightning strike, capture, or worse. Well, when you put it that way. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. Beats getting fried by lightning, but we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. Down? I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll see if I can have a conversation. Who do you plan on talking to? More like what? I think it's automated. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. Sam. Begin translating. A moment. Indexing. Translation complete. Let's see what we have. I'll be damned. It's working. You did it. There's hope at least. This is more than hope. It's proof we weren't crazy. We can fly to a whole new galaxy and still make sense of things. Sam had a little something to do with it. It was simply a matter of linguistics, though I am pleased to have it. Now! They're spinning up the shuttle. 
shuttle. ETA is three, maybe four minutes. We don't have that long. Initiating transfer. Plant is overloading. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it! There! Welcome back, Scott. What happened? Hey, you still with us? Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his. And he chose you. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got the team out of danger. We all owe him for that. He once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. What are we doing in Sam, Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Cora? In theory, it's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. He needs to rest first. He's got two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I checked on your sister. Still no change. But if you can pull through, so can she. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing.
Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion, requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Scott Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an Ark had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... You're the first Ark we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. You're in trouble here. I'd say you need any help you can get. We need qualified help. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. I 
can't believe how far off track things have gone. It's bad, but it's not over. Not yet. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we've found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion. And mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay. But you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, please see me and Sam Node on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious. Like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. But the human's still in charge, right? Of course. I was never intended to supplant the Pathfinder, only to support and enhance your abilities. Good to hear. So what's the plan? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> And Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. 
but at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Every plan the Initiative made is out the window. Now it's on us to find the way. We all came here ready for a challenge. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. 
It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Sound the 